Okay, I just wanted to do a really quick update on my red seeded um, watermelon variety from Turkmenistan. Um, the vines are still living, of course, but we've been having a uh, issue. Well, we were having an issue with um, aphids. So this is a fruit set that was growing so terrifically well until I noticed the aphids and then all of a sudden the uh, fruit set stopped growing, so I plucked it off because it uh, started showing those wrink wrinkle marks. Um, here's the zip tie that was on there to mark it off as hand pollinated. But, um, so it happened to me a couple times. Um, actually it happened to me a few times. So this, this is two examples right here, and these were the two largest fruit sets that I got the Turkmenistan red seeded to uh, those are the two largest sizes that I got it to reach um, until those aphids set in. Um, ever uh, since I noticed the aphids, I uh, took care of the issue by, because this tree right here, the branches were hanging low and it was creating shade spots and the aphids, uh, they just love the shade and they can't stand the sun. So ever since I raised the branches up that were laying on top of these vines and blocking the sunlight, I, ever since I raised those branches up, um, and that sun was able to shine on it, it uh, killed off the aphids. So aphids are soft body insects. Hey, hey. <laughs> Man, the bees are always coming out when I'm making these videos, huh? All right, so this is an unopened flower. Uh-oh, let me cover the one I just pollinated. It's over here. Hey, BB. So here's about the flower, my pollinated flower. So I need to bag this one. Um. So basically the uh, the aphids, they drain the juices from the vines be, uh, and only in areas that aren't exposed to sunlight. And I noticed that and I realized it's because they're soft bodied insects. And they <laughs> imagine what happens when a human is in the sun for too long and you get sunburned. So essentially it's quite the same with aphids. Um, and by them being so small, they, they just can't, they can't resist it. So, uh, since raised these branches up you can see how they start hanging low i'm gonna just start start cutting off the branches that hang low but basically you want to plant your watermelon vines or your any type of melon plants um cucurbits in general you want to plant them in full sun uh with the least amount of shade as possible uh especially for varieties like this that come from turkmenistan now you can see how beautiful the foliage is i mean you 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 wouldn't know that they're What's this going on, you know? And that's only because I had that aphid issue. All of this is dead vines from um, insects, aphids, and those little orange bugs. So here you can see a couple more fruit sets that didn't swell. I uh, pollinated this one about two, three days ago. I'm gonna take this off. And I also hand pollinated another one. Hand pollinated another one that was right here. And on the same day, um, or it must have been a day after. Now, if you notice, this is a high producer. Because look, that's one female flower, two. I just showed y'all two others that I had to pull off. I had this one from that I just did. I had another one that the beach tried to land on. And then I have one more right here that I need to do. Um, so, it, I mean, it's producing about two, three, two, I'm going to say about five to six flowers a, a week. Let me start plucking some male flowers to use. It's producing about five to six flowers a week at the minimum. So that's good production, honestly. And that's only from one vine. I have two vines. The second one still hasn't started flowering yet. But no, actually, this is the first flower, the first female flower from the second vine. So I'm definitely excited about that. Pluck some male flowers here. Um, if I can get this red cedar variety to uh, to survive, whew, I'm gonna be one happy camper. You see how the bee climbs into the flowers? <laughs> so it's not like I'm being mean when I'm trying to shoot away from an unopened flower because they still fly into them. So I have to uh, I have to be careful about that. So I'm not gonna go for any flowers that are exp all right here we go i wasn't gonna go for any flowers that were uh 
standing in the open air where the bee could see it because he most likely flew into it. Like you can see this one is still kind of shut so it didn't fly in there. So I'm gonna uh, finish this off, y'all. They got that bee just buzzing around hungry. Um, I'm gonna bag this flower right here. I'm about to pollinate and bag this one. And I just finished pollinating and bagging this one. This was actually the largest one. So red cedar produces a lot. Uh, it's my fault that I uh, allowed the branch to, or those branches to sit, to sit on top of those vines for so long. I should have realized that the insects would love it under there. Um, but now in order for me to prevent the disease and the, the insects are in, in the disease which they lead to, I'm just gonna make sure that all the vines are in full sun like this right here. And everything should remain green, hopefully. So I didn't spray anything, uh, just pure old sunlight got those aphids. All right, y'all.